What did you make of the Prime Minister's speech this morning? Well, uh, I, I wasn't actually here. I was in Madrid trying to drum up business for WPP in the, the four markets. There's still our top ten markets, Germany, France, Italy and Spain. But uh, I read the text of the speech and I welcome the stuff on industrial policy, on R&D, uh, on thinking around corporate governance. So I think on that side, uh, positive. On Brexit uh, and Brexit policy, we're, we're still in the dark, I think. Uh, I don't think there's greater clarity on that, but understandably so, because the government wants to keep its cars close to its chest, which I can understand, whereas we in business would like some clarity. But uh, in the meantime, uh, and maybe for the next two years at least, we're going to have to do all things. So we're going to have to make sure that we're as strong as we possibly can be in Asia and Latin America and Africa, Middle East and Central East and Europe, in the U.S., uh, as well, because that's a, obviously if Donald Trump is going to come here on the state visit in June of next year, that means that that bilateral agreement in the U.S. is going to be very important. But the U.S. is our biggest market. So we have to continue to do that. And paradoxically, despite the fact that we want out of uh, the EU, as I said, Brussels is still very important. Those four markets are very important. And the other European markets are very important. That trading block is still about 14 to $15 trillion out of $72 trillion worldwide. So we'll continue to do that as well. So you have, in this era of uncertainty, particularly over Brexit, you have to do both. What are some of the technologies and innovations that you believe will have the biggest impact on the advertising sector in the coming years? Well, the, the, the digital revolution is now 40% of our business. In 2000, 16 years ago, it was zero. Uh, on geography, by the way, interestingly, Asia, Latin America, Africa, Middle East, Central East, and Europe were about 10% of our business, now a third. So about 50% of our revenues have changed in 16 years. In 16 years' time, I would guarantee you it will be more than 50%, so the rate of change. But the biggest issue is the, or the biggest change is, is the digital revolution. I mean, I was talking to a client in Spain, you know, biggest threat to their business uh, is Amazon uh, and the the online e-commerce revolution, which is revolutionizing all forms of distribution. Uh, and m the mobile technology is changing the way, not just that we consume media, but the we way we buy products. And if you want a sort of validation of that, just look at the American election results. Clearly, social media in all its forms, whether it was Donald Trump using Twitter to good effect or social communities being built uh, not not a ground game in the classic electrical, uh, le election sense of going out and getting the vote on election morning, but building a consensus amongst a network of people prior to the election, which had a dramatic impact on the election. So the rise of social media, the rise of online shopping, the rise of mobile is, is the critical change.